Hi guys and welcome to the family fudge. I'm Jennifer and today I have two special guests with me in the kitchen. I have my daughter Mackenzie and my daughter Lily. And we are gonna share with you two easy make ahead recipes that are perfect for Christmas brunch. First up, we're gonna be making some creamy, dreamy crock pot hot chocolate. If you've never made hot chocolate in the crock pot, you will be amazed, it is so good. And we're also going to be making a three cheese grits casserole. It is so delicious and satisfying and perfect for a special occasion like Christmas brunch. So stay tuned and we will show you how to make them. Okay guys, now before we get started, I wanted to let you know that today's video is part of a collab with the very awesome Gia over at the channel Marriage and Motherhood, who I've actually been able to collab with before. Now if you haven't checked out her channel, I totally recommend that you do. Over on her channel, she does videos about finance and budgeting, mommy videos, she does Costco hauls, things like that. And she's also going to be sharing a brunch recipe as well, and I'm pretty sure her daughters are gonna help her with that, so definitely check it out. I will link it down below. Now let's get started. Here's what you're going to need. Six cups of milk, one can of sweetened condensed milk, one and a half cups of half and half. And if you really wanted to make this decadent, you could use cream. And you also need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And finally, you need one bag of chocolate chips. Now you could use semi-sweet or milk chocolate chips, but I really like the semi-sweet. It makes it extra chocolatey. And you may also wanna have a few garnishes or toppings for your hot chocolate as well. I really like to put whipped cream on mine, maybe a little bit of cinnamon or marshmallows or even a candy cane would be delicious. Yeah. So now that all of our ingredients are measured out, Mackenzie and Lily are going to help put them in the crock pot and whisk them up really well. We're going to cover this and cook it on low for about two hours. And we are gonna stir this occasionally. Once it's hot and the chocolate chips are melted, it's ready to serve. Now, if it looks like your hot chocolate is getting too thick or if it tastes too sweet, you can always add more milk. And of course, don't forget the garnishes. And now on to our three cheese grits casserole. Now I really like to make this a day in advance and then just bake it off right before I want to serve it. That makes it really convenient. So here's what you're going to need. One cup of half and half, three cups of milk, one cup of grits, half a stick of butter, one and a half cups of cheddar cheese, and one and a half cups of Monterey Jack cheese. You also need one egg, a teaspoon of garlic powder, five ounces of Parmesan cheese, and salt and pepper to taste. So now we're gonna get all of our ingredients ready. I've got Mackenzie here, Hi. and she's gonna help me to grate the cheese. Like Lily said, we need one and a half cups of each, but we're actually gonna take half a cup of the cheddar and half a cup of the Monterey Jack and reserve that to top the casserole. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead, Mackenzie, get started grating, but be very careful. So now that we have all of our cheese grated and all of our other ingredients ready, Mackenzie's gonna go ahead and grease the pan. Good job, Mackenzie. Thanks. So now that our pan is ready, I'm gonna set it aside and I'm actually gonna do the next part. In a large pot over medium heat, I'm gonna start by adding my half and half and my milk. And then I'm going to wait for this to boil. Next, I'm going to turn down the heat a bit and add my grits and my butter. And I'm going to whisk this constantly for about one minute, 
just so no lumps form. Next, I'm going to place my lid on and let this cook for about five to seven minutes. And I am gonna come back and stir it occasionally. When the time is up, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my lid and mix in my beaten egg and all three cheeses. But I am going to reserve a bit of the Monterey Jack and the cheddar to top the casserole before I bake it. Next, I'm going to add in my garlic powder and my salt and pepper. Now this is to your taste, of course. Next, I'm going to pour this into my prepared nine by 13 baking pan and then top it with the remaining cheese. Now, if I'm not gonna cook this right away, this is where I would stop. I would go ahead and put some aluminum foil on it and stick it in the fridge until I'm ready to cook it. But when I do wanna cook it, I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's golden brown. When it's cooled down enough, you can dig in. Now, usually on Christmas morning, I will also add some scrambled eggs, maybe some sausage on the side, and then I really like to add some green onion or hot sauce to mine. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to go over and check out Gia's video as well at Marriage and Motherhood. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.